Hi guys, it's Alyssa here. I haven't done that in the longest time, but it feels good. I already packed for Spain about three weeks ago, and I don't leave for another two weeks and six days. So yeah, I'm gonna be gone for four months. I'm traveling to Spain to study abroad, and I hope to go to other countries while I'm there, so I wanted to make sure I had what I needed. I packed one large suitcase, one um, carry-on suitcase, and then a backpack, and I'm gonna show you guys the contents of each of those things, okay? Okay. <laughs> So I'm going to start with the backpack. I'm just going to work my way up to the luggage. The luggage being, I guess, the biggest, most important piece, I guess. The backpack that I got, I got on Amazon. It is the Matein, M-A-T-E-I-N backpack. It's just, I got it because it's like, technically it's anti-theft. It has like a secret, secret pouch. I'm not really that worried about that. It's kind of like going to go with the whole, I'd rather have faith in humanity thing. I was like, at least I will appease my parents by being a little bit mindful. Yes, anyways, this has like a million pouches in it. It has the main zipper pouch. It has like a secondary, also equally as large zipper pouch. It has one smaller one right here. It has like a hidden side pouch here, and then it has a front pouch. In the main pouch, this back one, it has like a little Velcro strap thing to kind of hold your um, laptop. Right now I only have my Kindle. I'll put my laptop in it when I'm done watching Netflix, which won't be for another two weeks and six days. Two little book things I'm bringing. I'm also going to bring, I have one other book I need to get from a friend that I let her borrow, but um, I have my Spanish vocabulary book. And then this is a journal that I got from some of my best friends. Her name is Olivia. I checked the last date in this. I haven't written in a journal in about a year. The last one that I wrote was on my trip to New Hampshire last August, and it's August now. So basically, I'm lacking. I'm slacking, and I need to get back on that. Also, <clears throat> second pouch. So there's a lot of pockets in this as well. Like this side pocket, I have um, a t-shirt. Um, I also have, which I've never really done before, I have this little quart-sized bag of my liquids. I never usually bring liquids on the plane with me because I just don't care to hassle out the fine print details of how much I can bring. Normally it's however many can fit in a quart sized bag. And with a quick overview I have like toothpaste, mouthwash, hand sanitizer, melatonin, um, chapstick. I have like little mini, I don't know if you can see that, I have little mini perfume. I don't feel like myself if I don't smell like perfume. So <laughs> I also have um, this rose water spray. I have um, another skincare thing. It's like caffeine drops from The Ordinary, and like if you don't have it in your life, get on that. I didn't want to carry all of my jeans in my suitcase. Um, I do wear them pretty frequently, and I didn't want it to be weighing down my luggage. I have more jeans that I need to put in here, actually. In the smaller pouch, I have Sperry's, because I don't know if I'm going to want to switch into more comfortable shoes. I am going to be wearing heels on the plane, just because I don't want to have to pack that away. I have um, the rubber cage for my Purell, and then I have like a toothbrush, I have a pen, and I think that's all in this pouch. And in this little side pouch, I have a little face mask, and then I have just like makeup wipes. I'm not going to have any makeup on on the plane, but I want to be able to like clean my face. I should mention that um, this little bag will also be in my backpack. Converters? I think this is a converter. Um, and all of my chargers and one little set of headphones. So my um, carry-on suitcase is by Travelers Club. I've literally never used this before. It's actually my mom's. So basically, I will show you guys the content. I have tampons for the ladies right here. I have a bunch of different shoes in here. I'm not going to go through every one of them. I heard that women wear Oxford-looking shoes in Spain. Very excited to hop on and try it. Fake Burks that I got at Marshalls that are super comfortable. Here I have sweaters and blouses and tops. These little um, packing cubes that I use throughout my luggage, this is just the only one that's in this one, are from um, Travelwise. I'm not going to take them all out, but they're all rolled up like this. And this one's like long sleeve. And here I just have, again, some more of those Oxfords. You can kind of see how I packed my shoes. I have some heels, I have some flats, I have some sandals. And for the big finale, I have this suitcase behind me, which is pretty massive. One of my coworkers slash friends gave this to me to use, and I'm very grateful, and I can't wait to return it to her in one piece, <laughs> I promise. So, yeah, I'll show you guys what's inside this one. So this one is from, I should mention, it's from Samsonite. Gently down she goes. So here's my suitcase. I also use the Travelwise packing cubes in here. So that kind of clips open, and this one I noticed had a broken zipper, so I just threw, like, a safety pin in it. It doesn't open all the way. This is pretty much how far it goes. Oh, shoot and a half. I just hit the one 
fabric that I can't. Well, I have, this just has like little miscellaneous, um, I guess bath products. I have more shampoos and conditioners. I have like hair oil, all that jazz. I brought one little thing of tights because I felt like these would go with pretty much whatever I needed them to. So right here, I just have some white shorts. Um, into the corners, I kind of stuffed, I don't know if you guys can see this. Wherever the packing cubes were not touching the edge, I just kind of stuffed clothes that I needed. So like I have like some shorts right here. I have, I'm only bringing one pair of sweatpants and they're right here. They're more like joggers. Um, I have a two cardigans. I have like a dark one and I have a light one. Um, and then I have my kimonos right here. I have three. In this little bag, my tank tops. In here, I have dresses. And then in here, I have my um, pants, which I feel like I should show you guys, honestly. And also right there, you guys can see I have a faux leather jacket. I'm only bringing lighter jackets with me because I don't really think I'll need the heavier winter jackets. So in here, I just have um, a romper, three jumpsuits. I have like green pants, I have white pants, I have leggings, one like regular comfy blue jean, whatever, um, one lighter blue jean. This one is one of my leggings and then one black jean and then a darker pair right here. And then here I just have some fun pants and that is what is in this half of my suitcase. In this little mesh pouch I just have a bathing suit, I have two bras, I have my wide tooth comb and that's it. I kind of just threw some things on the top when I was done packing, but I'll show you guys beneath this. I have two purses. This one is a, what is this one called? Travel on. This is like anti-theft, an anti-theft purse. It's slash proof. And then in here, it's RFID protected. And I plan to meet a lot of people through talking to strangers. I just want to make sure that while I do that, my stuff is kind of where I need it to be. In here, I literally just have jackets. I bring two rain jackets. This one's more of my rain jacket and that one's more of a windbreaker. Um, I have some spring coats in here. I have my brush. I am bringing a blow dryer just because I'm a hairdresser. Like, this is kind of part of my life. I have some shoes in here, um, which I absolutely adore actually. These are Tom's and they're just plain black. I have um, my black. This is like my winter jacket. The only one I'm really bringing. It's not heavy at all. It's just like a cloth material. I have two dress coats and then I have some denim, like I have like a jean jacket here. Some scarves are pa packed tightly down here. Um, and then I also have one travel wise right there and that one just holds like um, undergarments. And that's literally all that I have. I'm bringing a lot of jackets. I understand that that's what I'm, I'm doing. As a person who likes to wear light clothes and just layer them, um, I just really wanted to have the stylized option to do that. There are two more things I should probably mention before I let you guys go. Um, one of which being toiletries, the other being my makeup that I'm bringing. I do have my little Victoria's Secret bag that I've just had since high school. It's my tried and true. It works. I'm going to bring basically like a red lipstick, a neutral lipstick, um, mascara, concealer, um, bronzer, and eyebrow powder. So, as for my toiletries, I do have a bag that I got from Procase. It's open right now, actually. I am not a travel-sized gal. I really just want to have all of my stuff in the full-size bottle. But um, I did kind of consolidate with something. So, in here, um, there's, like, one main pouch. And then there's, like, some zipper pouches. Contact um, stuff. I have little hair elastics. My birth control pill. In this pouch here, I literally just have cotton um, pads. The other ones are in plastic. I just have some hair products, my earrings, which just stabbed me by accident. On this side is literally just a face mask and I have my makeup brushes. In the front here, I just have more of my birth control pills. I have a nail file, nail clipper, a thermometer. I'm not going to open this up and take everything out, but <laughs> I will tell you guys what's in here. Shower gel, body lotion, toner. I do have little packets of emergency, face medicine. I have ibuprofen, Tums. I have deodorant, Q-tips, hair powder that is actually dry shampoo, razor heads, antibacterial ointment. I just really wanted to have everything that I needed. So yeah, and last but not least, I will be bringing my GoPro with me, um, which I just got in the mail yesterday. And this will be in my backpack because this little guy is going to go everywhere. Also, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to bring my T3i. The thing is, it's not like I'm going to be traveling from hostel to hostel with it. I can actually keep my Canon Rebel T3i at home. What I'm doing is I have a homestay and I have my own bedroom for four months, the same homestay. And if I do feel like traveling with my camera, I can choose to consolidate everything into like my little backpack for the weekend. And yeah. 
So basically, I do think that I'll probably end up bringing it, but don't tell my parents. And that concludes what I am bringing with me to Spain for my four month study abroad. It really is up to you what kind of clothes you want to bring as long as you research the climate you should be fine. I research the climate and I know that I can wear all of these clothes in like 50 to 80 degree weather with no problem. I come from New England. That is that is hot to me. Like I can wear shorts in 50. Okay. I hope that this was helpful and I hope that you guys will find my future videos helpful and maybe entertaining. And the next time that I see you guys I will be en route to Spain. <laughs> I love you all and I will see you in the next video. I don't know what it's called, but with a flight company? Like, I don't know what else to call it. No, that's not the name. Ow. Because it says so on this thing. But, oh, yeah. That's where it says it. I didn't know before. So, okay. And this isn't even the right zipper. I hate when I do that. It's like the one that expands it a little. By like an extra inch. Wouldn't guys and no. Okay. Oh god, come on. You can do it. Okay, what did I just do? Guys, this is harder than it should be. <sighs> okay. I don't remember what my outro used to be. Actually, I know that on my outro on you now used to be stay fruity. I know it was like stay trolley fruities, that's what I used to say. Stay trolley fruities. My god. Okay, anyway.